Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of functions. In this video, uh, we'll see uh, some more examples, a little bit of more complex examples as compared to uh, the examples we have seen till now. So, uh, I'll giving you uh, two examples. One is related to, I have created a question on uh, saturation of uh, hydrocarbons and another is based on porosity. So, let's, uh, let's get started with the video. Okay, so the first uh, problem statement you can see here is what I'm asking uh, is that you have to ask a user to enter a water saturation between a 0 and 1. Obviously, fraction values will be 0 to 1 only for saturation of water. Now, what you have to do is you have asked the user uh, a water saturation and you have to print a hydrocarbon saturation. We all know hydrocarbon saturation will be equals to 1 minus water saturation. So, Output should be in the format. Uh, let's just ignore this for a while. Now, what you can do is you can say, Mister, this is a very simple question for me. Why I can simply do this? Why we are why we are going to use function in this? Let's let's look at the uh, simplest way. What you can do is, uh, let's say I am asking my user uh, for saturation of water at and storing it in a variable sat underscore w that is saturation of water, and I am asking my user uh, that enter the water saturation value all right again it will be some decimal value so uh, this will store input function will store it in a string value so i'll have to convert it in a float type so i'll convert it in float and i'll uh, okay now it has been converted into a float type now what i want is I would simply write a statement using a string formatting that uh, my hydrocarbon hydrocarbon saturation is and you write here uh, whatever it has been stored in the SATW. So this is a very simple way we don't need to use function we will get the desired output let's say uh, it is asking me enter the water saturation value and I input uh, 0.5. So, it is giving me a hydrocarbon saturation is also 0.5 because 1 minus 0.5 equals to 0.5. If I say 0.4, so it will give me a hydrocarbon saturation. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. This should be 1 minus, right? This should be 1 minus uh, saturation of water. I'm so sorry for my mistake. So, if I put 0.4 here, it should give me 0.6. If I input 0.4, 0.7 here, it should give me 0.3 hydrocarbon saturation. Great. So this is the simplest way, but because we are learning about functions, I want you to do the same problem uh, by creating a different function. So what uh, what we can do is now it is uh, it is asking me that use a function called HC uh, underscore saturation, basically stands for hydrocarbon saturation. So let's uh, uh, write the code for this problem. I'll simply copy this one because this is the same thing. This I'll have to use this. Now what I'll do is. I'll have to create a function. So, how do we create a function? Define def. Uh, write the name of a function here. Uh, what the name of function is? HC underscore saturation. We can do anything, but because the problem statement has asked us to use this function name, we are using this function name. Inside that, what we write? We write parameter, right? So, what parameters uh, that be? I I'll come back to this. I'll come back to this for a better understanding. Just uh, leave it empty for now. And what I want to return is what I want to return is uh, a statement that says hydrocarbon saturation is I'll, I'll use string formatting here as well we can use string formatting here right and here I'll write I'll come back to hear it again now what I want my function is I want a function in which I give the value of water saturation and it returns me the value of hydrocarbon saturation so if i want to give a value of water saturation in my function what i'll have to do is i'll have to enter a parameter here and what that parameter will be that parameter will be nothing but water saturation right so our water saturation is sat underscore w which i have uh, stored in a variable here right and what it will be returning me a hydrocarbon saturation that will be equivalent to one minus water saturation right so we have defined a function now, if I call this function, I'll have to exit the loop and now I'll have to uh, call the function. How do we call the function? HC underscore SAT. 
so this is my function name now you have to write the uh, parameter here SATW great so SATW uh, is SATW will automatically become some float number when we give an input here so this is my overall code so if I run this if I run this let's see what is happening so it is asking me the first the water saturation value so this line is being executed right now this line the first line so if I enter any value this will get uh, this will get defined and this will get executed again it will it will get executed afterwards so if I enter my saturation value 0 0.4 uh, water saturation 0 0.4 so this is uh, now after that this function is being executed and what this function is doing this function is doing this job right this function is doing this job so the hydrocarbon saturation is 0 0.6 don't get confused because I have written it in the same code cell I can write in the next code cell new code cell also will get the same value because SATW has been defined and I have given the value of SATW that is 0.4 great now uh, this is how we can make a function now let's uh, do another problem in which I want to check if a user has entered a correct porosity value or a wrong porosity value so for this situation I am assuming that anything less than 1 will be the correct porosity and anything greater than 1 will be considered as a wrong porosity so uh, here we have two conditions right less than one and a greater than one so we'll have to use if and else inside the uh, function so this might be also this this will also uh, show you how you can use if and else statement inside a function so uh, let us take a pore that is let's take a porosity and store it in a variable pore okay I'll, I'll ask user enter a porosity value in fraction that is in between uh, sorry I will not do fraction enter a porosity value just enter a porosity value and I will convert it into a float why I am converting into a float and not integer is because uh, let's say I am uh, inputting any value less than 1 that is 0 0.6 for example so that will be convert that should be that is string so that should be converted into float exactly right but if I am uh, inputting a value greater than 1 let's say I am putting just 10 I am giving an input of 10 for a porosity value so that 10 is can also be converted into an integer and por uh, and uh, float value but that 0.6 will not be converted into an integer so it's better uh, we convert all of them into a float type now we define a function let's say our function name is porosity checker p o r c h e c k e r porosity checker and what i give input here is i'll give input here this pore um, whatever variable in which i'll give input and what it does is it return and uh, now i have two conditions again if this pore value if this pore is less than equal to 1 if less than uh, 1 then just print correct right and if uh, my condition is means anything else apart from this condition so in else it will include greater than equal to 1 what I want to print is incorrect so now our uh, now this all this thing will not give me any output just remember this thing this this is just I, uh, a functionality of a function this is how a function will perform when I give porosity when I give an input value of pore that is whatever this parameter is it will check according to these conditions it will not give me any output unless I run the function so to run the function what I'll do is I write my function name and whatever argument is there I'll do that okay now if I run the whole cell the first line first of all uh, what it, it will do is it is asking me to enter a porosity value let's say I do 10 and I enter it so it gives me incorrect because it is uh, it comes under the else uh, else broke but now if I enter my porosity value 0 0.4 it will give me that is your porosity value is correct so this is how a function works just don't get confused between uh, why this is not doing anything because this is just we are just defining a function that function will perform this functionality function will not print anything unless we call the function and this is how we are calling the function that 
a function name that is POR checker and after that inside whatever arguments we have. Similarly here also uh, this was just uh, we are this this was just uh, uh, functionality of this function hydrocarbon saturation but unless we run it see we run it here if i run it here right now now i have i have i haven't called function here if i run it right now it will not give me the output it will just if it is asking me the water saturation value if i ask water saturation value let's say 0.8 so see it is not giving me anything it is because we haven't called the function we have defined the function but we haven't called the function we have called the function here now if I run here, now this gives me that 1 minus 0 0.8 that is equals to 0 0.2. But if I call the function here as well, hydrocarbon mm -hmm. saturation and SAT underscore W, now this will print me result. If it, it will ask me again and it will print me result. That's a this time I type 0 0.6 and this is hydrocarbon saturation 0 0.4. Great. Now I have an assignment question for you. A very good example, very good assignment. If you if you are able to do it by yourself, I uh, you have definitely understood the functions very 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 well. Okay, so this is assignment uh, nine. I'll also give the solution in next video, but please honestly try it by yourself. Uh, this is an example of Tara Kamad, example number four point eight. Uh, this is used to calculate uh, permeability in darces. So what you have to do in this example uh, for uh, as an assignment. You don't have to calculate k here you just uh, uh, take the value of k equals to 0.33 darcy's and then calculate the flow rate q which is already given 0.5 so you assume the value of k equals to 0.33 and your answer should be coming of q equals to 0.5 and do it using function no other method and uh, please submit the uh, you can you can tag us you can tag us on linkedin by the name of petroleum from scratch and we'll surely get back to you so this is it for uh, this video i'll see you in the next lecture Thank you.